Hi, my name's Brooke Trippman. I'm applying to a position as a manager at the Front Climbing Club in Sandy, Utah. A little bit about myself. I'm from the Adirondacks, one of the largest state parks that we have in the US. So I've been exposed to the outdoors my whole life. Um, I've been rock climbing, hiking, whitewater rafting, caving, um, just really anything I can do to get outdoors and get exploring. Um, I'm a very bubbly person. I like to consider myself a woman of many talents. I'm a woodworker, I'm a painter, um, love to do anything that I really can, um, have this awesome rock collection that I'd love to show you guys um, as I'm really into um, geology as well. Um, a little bit more about myself is I do have quite a bit of certifications that I'm only gonna build on because that is how certifications work. Um, is you start with the ones you have and you build up from there. That's the beauty of it. I'm a New York State licensed hiking guide. With that position, I have been taking out an uh, extensive amount of guided tours, ranging from school groups, hockey groups, to corporate groups, to families. Really, uh, anyone who needs assistance guiding and wants a little extra guide with them. I've also hosted rock climbing as well at my position. Um, a lot of beginners, especially on top ropes, have been my biggest one that I've taught. I've taught a lot of knot classes as well. Um, which is pretty cool. I'm a certified wilderness first responder. I got that last year. Continuing on to that, I went and joined the volunteer fire department to continue getting my certifications with my first responder. Ultimately, I'd love to be a volunteer search and rescue responder. That would be my goal. However, I just need a little bit more certifications to build up to that, but this was a, the fire department was a great first step to continue that. I'm no longer a part of that as I am moving to Salt Lake City, so I can't be part of my um, local fire department right now. A little bit more about myself, what I've been doing the past couple years. For the past four years, I've been working at this adventure park called Experience Outdoors. Uh, when I started there, they were a fresh new business. It was just the two owners and maybe a couple other people, and I helped build it from the ground up. I helped them establish their website and how to link things with best web page would look on there help them assess a lot of photos set different social media platforms as well as an online messenger that we can contact people at any time with and they can contact us which is super helpful i help provide a lot of qr codes with them um and do a lot of other things um and yeah that they were the main business that helped me get a lot of the certifications i have and that's why i'm applying this for this position as I think I'd be great with it. I think I'd be a really good leader with you guys. I could help establish a lot of things as I help this business build from the ground up, uh, the one I'm currently working at. So with you guys, I could add a lot of things that people may not think um, that are there that they, um, cause, because they've been there for so long. So um, I helped like establish QR codes for waivers. So we do online waivers instead of paper waivers as we are an outdoor company. So we try to be more eco-friendly. I help build a trail map on all trails for their business. And I'd love to do the same for you guys. I'd love to add on different things to our website, upgrade us. Um, at that place too, I got communities involved. I got all the local schools to get involved. So they come yearly, monthly, to come to us to do different experiences with the outdoors because it's good for the kids, good for the business. As well as fundraisers as well, I've set up a lot. I have a lot of connections with the local brewery, so I was able to get a lot of them to have stands there. A lot of artisans that I know came and did a lot of things. So love to do new things. So I'd love to do that for you guys, different events for the community to boost you guys up and um, have fun while you do it because that's the key. Um, a little bit about my managing style. Um, I'm a pretty fun, composed leader, I'd consider myself. I'm very direct, very open, um, and just all around a friend. I think the best way to be a leader is to be also a little bit of a friend, um, just in the aspect of um, they're looking up to you. So they really, um, they gotta have that bond with you. Um, I'm open in the aspect where if someone's having something wrong, they're always really open to come to me and tell me what's wrong. I'm really good at finding that solution, finding a way to make things better for everyone all around um, and figure that out along the way. I'm very organized. Um, everything I do in the office wise, um, I love to find new things to organize things, find new ways to put things in, um, different websites to help us with um, manager communication um, as well, which I would love to also add on with you guys.
Um, so I do a lot of things. Um, I'm very organized. I'm a very aware person. I'm aware of everything that's going on in the course and how everyone's running. I had evaluated all of our guides last year and this year. So um, I have a really good understanding of how things work, how they should be working, and what should be going on between everyone individually, which is amazing. Um, an example um, of how I hold someone accountable and how I hold them accountable, it's like I said, I'm an open person. So I'll make sure that no one's around. I'll pull them away into a different area and I want to talk to them personally. I don't need everyone there to be listening. Um, and I, I want to be able to show them how to do things better than what they're doing as well. Give them a chance because um, that's part of life is it's a learning curve. You won't know what's wrong unless someone shows you. Uh, a good example is we have a high ropes course. Um, so we get a variety of able people that come in um, that love to test their limits, uh, which is great. So we had this family come in, um, their son struggled a little bit on high ropes course. Um, when we send out these tours, they have guides assisted with them to help lower them down on our belay system at any time if they're uncomfortable with the heights. So this kid was scared of the height, which is a-okay, that happened. So um, the guy that was with him was lowering him down. And um, I heard some commotion going on as I was doing equipment checks in the barn as I was managing. Um, came out because I heard an, a bunch of stuff. We use radio communication at this position. Um, so I was just surprised I didn't get a radio for anything. Went over there, noticed it was a bit of a scene. Um, went up. Um, to de-escalate the situation, went up, figured out everything. The guide was improperly clipped in um, in three different ways. Uh, so I had, I set everything up, had him go down, called my co-manager to come help us get the situation done with um, and down. Um, and which we did so, we set up the belay system properly, um, got the kid down nice and easy, went home with his family all fine and everything. Um, but later on, uh, my co-manager and I, I waited till the end of the day when everyone was gone and it was just the guide. Um, went over with him how to properly put your gear on your harnesses and where it should be at all times, depending on what course you're in for the course, um, as he was not fully aware. Let him know where to be clipped in. Um, as he, where he was clipped in was on a tandem, which is improper for the system that we had. So I showed him his correct safety line to ensure he was safe and knew what he was doing um, from there on out. Showed him how to properly set up the belay system um, as he had the belay backwards, um, which was improper. And just showed him how to do everything properly. Just casually did it. it was, hey, buddy. Um, we're just going to go over some things real quick before you head out today. Um, and that's what you got to do. Holding accountability is um, holding them accountable. You got to show them what they're doing wrong um, and how to be more safe next time because safety is the number one priority. Um, and if their safety is the first importance of the safety is um, the guide itself and knowing what they're doing. So um, I'm really good at acknowledging um, to people what they could do better, what they're doing wrong, um, and how to make it better. Um, I don't just leave things out where, oh, someone did something wrong, um, yell at them and that's it. No, you gotta show them um, how to do something better next time. Customer service to me um, is the beginning of the experience. We are the experience is what I love to tell people. Um, what that means is when someone comes into a building, they're, whatever they, um, Whatever happens at that building is gonna remain in that building. You only have one first impression in life. So you wanna make sure that first impression or that first experience is something that they're gonna continue on with. Cause that's gonna decide if, if they wanna come back, how they feel fully about the place um, and the energy that they're gonna feel as they do things there and if they're gonna enjoy themselves. So um, yeah, you only have one first impression. And that's how I, I would describe my perspective of customer service. They call me Pina at my job. Um, I have people who love me. Most of them just remember me, Pina, um, the little blonde girl as they come in um, because I'm so spunky, I'm out there. I, I wanna talk to them. I wanna figure out where they're from and if this is their first time, if, if they've ever done anything crazy like this, what they've been doing. Um, mine as well, you know, like everyone's living their life. We got fun stories to tell, so do they. Um, so customer service is, um, it's important. It, it gets the people engaged. It, it builds connections, which is a big thing um, for both the business and f both for ourselves. So it's pretty important to be in a fun environment. Um, 
yeah, I would say um, I would be great for this position in the aspect of what I can provide for you guys. I'd love to create new add-ons, um, get certified more with you guys, add more on to anything in the office as I get there. I'll be able to see what you have and what can be added. Um, love to set up more events with the communities and just get everyone involved. Um, I'm also a good leader in the aspect of um, I set up a thing called Frisky Fridays with my groups. So our guides i have them um every friday if they want so volunteer choice if they want to but we'll do like flag football volleyball ultimate frisbee um really anything to kind of create that bond between the work um and the outside of work connection to keep that going um because i think that's pretty important to have sometimes is some team building of our own um which is really important but I think it'd be great for you guys. Um, I'm one of the top rock climbing guides that we have at my position. I'm one of the top frontier leaders of this position. Help build this place from the ground up. Um, establish a lot of their new beginnings um, and would love to help you guys continue on the buildings that you have and um, new ads that I feel I could do. So feel free to give me a email at any time. Um, I'd love to discuss more um, at all. Um, or feel free to give me a call either at 518-354-3611. Um, and I look forward to speaking with you guys. Thank you so much for continuing on my position.